What's going on guys, me Dan Vernick, our films here, I'm back with another episode of NHL 16, today we're facing the Toronto, I'm retarded, the Tampa Bay Lightning, <laughs> I just looked at the jerseys, I don't know why, oh my god, we almost scored right there off of whoever that was, well, that's Ben Bishop, I, I almost just said Bernier, and if I would have said that, <laughs> I would have pretty much paused the video and just, you know, went to sleep for ever, anyway, uh, right there we get an icing call, because in this game it is impossible to pass, but... But I will not let this get me down as right there we get a turnover and going into this game I really don't expect to win it um, They were the winners of the conference last year. So uh, yeah, that's not It's gonna be pretty tough to beat for a team that didn't even make the playoffs But then again the Bruins did get uh, 96 points. So I mean they missed it by one and wow right there Nice try by Bergeron Seth Griffith at the front of the crease trying to force uh, Bishop to keep it and uh, this Tampa Bay Lightning team is just so dangerous. I mean, more dangerous than uh, the Montreal Canadiens. Probably the best team in the league right, as of right now. I mean, I thought Anaheim was the best last year, but this year it might be, might be uh, the Lightning. So the players they got their best player, Steven Stamkos. Like, holy crap, he is a god. And then they're tr they have a line called the Triplets uh, that is Tyler Johnson, Andre Palat, and Nikita Kucherov. They are awesome. They also have uh, Victor Hedman. And right here we try to go in inside and out. That did not work. Yeah, but they have Victor Hedman and Anton Strawman, and they're just godly. Right here we're trying to set up a nice pass, but Moro cannot capitalize on shooting it. Right here, a Juan-on-Juan -Juan situation, and I think that is uh, not Nikita Kucherov. I'm not sure who that was. Uh, some other random guy uh yeah they just have such talent man they have ryan callahan uh ryan philpola i mean maybe are there, is both their names ryan i don't know excellent pass right there by max talbot i mean i couldn't have asked for better accuracy you know what i mean right there we're trying to hit up the one timer and we're just bombarding them but nothing is going on and i'm not really sure who's on my who's this who this line is right here it is that's moro this is my fourth line yeah okay so I don't really, I don't really care about my fourth line to be honest. They're just the guys that go out and just try to waste uh, time off the clock and get penalties right there. He hits it so it's out of bounds, and we got Jimmy Hayes, who's been the best player on our team so far. He puts a shot into Ben Bishop, who is six seven six eight. Uh, he's a very tall guy. That's why they call him Big Ben, like Ben Roethlisberger, and I just found that funny. And speaking of big, look at Jimmy Hayes going down the ice. He misses the first shot, hits the second one, and he scores. He does a fake slap shot and does a wrist shot and scores. And that was one of the greatest plays uh, so far of this series. Right here, they're trying to bring on pressure, but we get it out with Tory Krug. But he messes up and causes a turnover as it ricochets off of Seth Griffith. Right here, Griffith, the bird's run over to Marshawn. We're trying to go through their solid defense. We just put a backhand shot on goal with Marshawn. Nothing happens. Right there, Burge run to Griffith. We missed the one-timer. And it is recovered by Dennis Seidenberg. Right here, we're trying to skate up with Marshawn to get inside. And again, we try to shoot off his, his backhand. That is just not working out for us right now. Palat carries it up the ice. And you know, we just got to watch out for every single one of the players that I mentioned. Uh, especially Tyler Johnson. The way he played in the playoffs last year, I thought for certain that um, they were going to beat the Blackhawks. But the Blackhawks are just... For some reason, the best. I hate, I don't like the Blackhawks at all, but I hate the Rangers more. <laughs> I'll just say that right there. What a drive um, by one of their defensemen. Uh, just great defensemen. Uh, that would have been Strawman. Or I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was Strawman. Right there, we get a nice shot. Bishop goes one way, the puck goes the other, but he reacts uh, and stretches out that pad. Anyway, we got a two-on-one, or no, two-on-two -two situation here, but now we intercept it with... Uh, Erickson, but nothing goes across. They're trying to set up the one-timer across the crease, and we shut that down. Erickson carrying it up the ice with Bezaleski and Kelly behind him. Uh, Erickson fires. Oh, my God. I'm stuttering my words. And uh, that's the end of the first period. Stamkos versus Bergeron right there. You saw over to Griffith. Griffith takes a wild shot, and he has just been playing so good. Recovered by Antoine Strawman. Uh, Anton Strowman, not Antoine. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, right here, we cause the turnover, get another shot off with Seth Griffith, who runs into the goalie there at the end of the play. And we're trying to set up a big bomb from uh, Adam McQuaid. Uh, 
what was his nickname? Uh, oh my god. Darth, Darth Quater? It was, it was something really awesome. Yeah, I, th I think it was Darth Quater. And, I mean, that is one of the greatest nicknames of all time. Right here, Bergeron with an excellent pass. And I'm not being sarcastic this time. So, um... Uh, Seth Griffith, who scores on an excellent wrist shot, and that whole play that just happened, I mean, that's what I want to see more often. Right here, they're trying to set it up, and they do, and that is Tyler Johnson, who strikes off of a pass from Druin, uh, I think that was, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah. There's not much you can do about Tyler Johnson, just the way he plays in front of the goal, uh, puts a nice screen on, just drives in that. He plays uh, very aggressive. I can compare to one popular player, I'd probably say, Brendan Gallagher. Um... Yeah, just a very uh, hard guy to defend because he's just always always in the slot, always in front of the crease. It's just hard to get him. Right here, uh, it's a game of turnovers, and they missed a one timer. And Erickson shoots it up the ice, and we got Kelly. We're trying to skate in. We're trying to skate in, but somehow he gets there first, but it's not icing. And I don't know. If, if I truly would have gotten there first, I would have got the puck first. Right there, a huge hit from Hayes. Kelly over to Seidenberg. Seidenberg puts a nice shot on Bishop. We're just not getting enough shot off, shots off here as we cause an excellent turnover, but I am unable to uh, pick up the puck because my guy was skating around it like some sort of Disney princess is on ice or something. And we really need to score a goal here uh, and not let them score over to Strawman right here. As you can see, he skates right up the ice and we take away his shot, but he shoots it anyway from recovering Krug up. To Jimmy Hayes, the big power forward. He takes a wild shot trying to do the same thing that he did earlier. Uh, in reality, I'm trying to do it. But right there, there's a huge breakaway. He deeks and puts it through the five hole. And that is Ryan Philpola, number 51. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is, at least. Um, yeah, it's just so hard to play this team. Uh, because they're just so good. Right there, we take a nice shot with Brad Marchand to keep us in the game. That was an excellent snipe. Uh, he wasn't even facing the right way, and he shot it right there. An absolute bomb, but grass cuts off the angle. And now we got it with um, Brendan Morrow, the guy, or Brandon Morrow, the guy that we uh, signed in free agency. He didn't get too far at all. <clears throat> Man, my throat is dry. Holy crap. Right here, we destroy him with Zdeno Chara, and Z Chara does an excellent play. But again, I, I, every time I pass with him, it's just not good. I don't know if there's like he's bad at passing or what. Right there. Uh, number 16 was in position to make a huge play, but he just couldn't do it. Max Talbot right here, uh, you know, he squeezed the shot through. At least he did something, but it went out of bounds, so that's that's pretty bad. Irwin gets crushed. Or, yeah, that is Irwin, I think. Um, and again, Irwin trying to cause some payback as... Uh, you can just see how good Seth Griffith is playing. He has two goals in the two games I got him right here, and he's just trying to cause turnovers on uh, our offense. I mean, on their defense. And they just skate up and score. And there's not much you can do about that. And it's very frustrating as they score again right there. Um, it's just it's just the luck of, you know, what the heck is going to happen. We get a nice interception right there and we're going up the side with Bezaleski trying to get him to a strong hand and he fires an absolute laser at Bishop but again Bishop is uh, all over that and uh, I think Bishop is a good goalie um not many people did during the playoffs right here oh my god an excellent opportunity from Jimmy Hayes trying to keep us in the game but yeah I thought I thought Bishop played okay in um the playoffs last year uh I mean, above average, obviously, since he got his team the whole way to the freaking final. But, you know, the the Blackhawks are just the best team in the league. I hate to admit it, man, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Excellent turnover right there by Patrice Bergeron trying to create some opportunities, get some life back in this offense. But he is unable to shoot because that is his weak hand. I was trying to switch to his uh, strong hand. Right here, a one-on-one -on -one situation and an excellent poke uh, check by Tuka Rask and we're up the wing again with Bergeron Bergeron fires top right corner but somehow someway Ben Bishop is able to come up clutch and just completely stop that and this is the momentum is just insane it's back and forth over and over and over again and Stamkos is on the ice and that is not a good thing as we are putting pressure on them and that is Hedman uh, up there at the top defensive position we skate in with uh, Zidane Char, who actually makes a pass for once. And Griffith is trying to get something going, but he simply gets run over, and the puck is gone. 
Uh, Erickson now on the ice trying to chase around. This is the third, or no, sorry, the second line. That is my go line. I mean, on this line, you better go and score because it's just so awesome. It's the underrated line. Like that Poshnok Spooner Lucic line from last year for the Bruins. Right here, an excellent pass to a wide open Louis Erickson, but again, he's on his backhand, and that has been killing us. We would have scored at least two more goals that I know of. And right here, an excellent turnover from Matt Bezaleski trying to cause some mayhem. And Erickson got the puck back after Bezaleski gave it up. But we crunch whoever that was with uh, Adam McQuaid. Was that Adam McQuaid? I'm not sure. But Louis Erickson fires an absolute bomb, and it goes through, and we are only down two goals. And in hockey, you know the saying, you don't want to be down two goals, even though that's not even a saying. But, because, because oh my god, right there, again with the one-timer, but he's just not getting any power behind it. Jimmy Hayes has got to put power, but what's the, like, being up two goals in hockey is not good, as right there, Rask with an epic save. Because if you score one goal, then you're only down one goal. So, I mean, you, you don't want to be up two goals. I can tell you, you want to be up three goals at least. Um... Right there, an excellent poke check by Morrow, who has been playing extremely good ever since I brought him up. Uh, better than Kevin Miller? I don't know. Uh, when I do a next, the next update line. Oh my god, a blast from Jimmy Hayes. Just like that, it's a one-point game. Holy crap, I forgot about that. And uh, Drask skates out of the box. I'm like, oh my god, don't do that, please. But yeah, I think I bench uh, Morrow. I'm not sure why. Oh man, just the unluckiness right there. Uh, he broke his stick. That's pretty much what happened. Um, so right here we got Krug and Seidenberg on the ice trying to defend this offensive pressure. An excellent turnover by Dennis Seidenberg. Now he's going to try to skate up the ice and he fires a bomb and it almost goes through Bishop. We are down one goal as he skates through and for some reason that didn't work and it deflected out of bounds. Every single time you uh, that backhand shot in these games are just so OP. And it just didn't work that time. And it's like, oh my god, what more do I have to do? And you're going to see the excellent work again by Seth Griffith uh, putting on pressure in the offensive zone. Bergeron skates it up the ice to Marshawn, oh, the best goal scorer last year. And it almost goes in off a deflection. But Ben Bishop is there. And now we have the puck again. Seth Griffith throws one in front of the crease. And Bergeron gets rocked in the corner. And that is not good. We're trying to apply a four check here with two minutes remaining, which is less than um, uh, th 30 seconds in real life, I think. Um, right here, we skip the ice with Brad Marshot. He's got a complete breakaway. He fires and another save by Ben Bishop, who is playing like Carey Price from last game. And, he's, and right here, Adam McQuaid, he gets juked out and they score. Steven Stamkos with the game clincher right there. Oh, man, Rask has got to protect that 5-hole, and they score again. But they call off the goal, but then they call it back on Ryan Callahan, number 24. Uh, I don't know why the ref officially called it off, but and then he called it back on. So it sucks for us. And wait, did I pull Rask? I pulled Rask at some point in this game. I'm not sure, but it's uh, Subban is now in uh, Malcolm Subban, and he just gets scored on right there by number 25 and we're just getting crapped on we were down a goal now we're down four goals and the Tampa Bay Lightning are just such a dangerous team I didn't really expect to beat them like I said coming into this game I thought you know scoring at least three points would make me happy and we did that and you know Malcolm Subban sort of let us down there at the end but you know if Rask wouldn't have let those goals in but anyway Right there is shot, and it just doesn't matter anymore. This game is pretty much over as Jimmy Hayes not going down quietly. He gets the hat trick on the Tampa Bay Lightning, and Jimmy Hayes is just playing so well. I was considering moving him up to the first line, but you know, I really want to really want to, you know, keep him there at the third line with the young players to, you know, uh, teach them and just have a good player on that line. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Comment, subscribe, and your veggies. Go to school. Dank our films. Out. Peace.